Hey, what's up, guys? It's Gabe with Nerd Tech, and I just want to show you another demo of Closebot AI. It's the chatbot I'm using along with Air AI. Air AI can't do chatting, that's just the AI calling. So, Closebot is what I use, and I integrate with Go High Level on my white level platform called Nerd Tech. And we can uh, automate all the communication between our leads with the AI calling and the chatbot. But I'm going to demo the chatbot. Another scenario, I set it up for an attorney who's using this. And I wanted to show you how cool this was because this one actually has quite a few objectives. So whenever we set the bots up, we always have objectives they have to go through. So over here you can see uh, goals accomplished. So it's actually gonna go through and ask questions about all these things. And then when it asks the questions, it's gonna fill out fields with the answers too depending on how things are answered, we can actually trigger other automations to happen uh, after it collects some of these objectives. So uh, this is just my test demo uh, contact in this account, and I'm going to add it to the automation that starts the bot. Let's see here. If I can remember which one it is. I think it's first outbound text. We're gonna do it now. Add, all right, let's see what happens here. <clears throat> we should be able to see all the conversation happen right here live in this middle section on the contact. So there we are. Hey Gabe, it's Sarah from Barry Law. I wanted to follow up about the free consultation you acquired about is now a good time to chat. So I'm gonna text back. Yeah. All right. So we say, yeah, now it's fine. It's going to take a little bit of time. It's usually like 10, 15 seconds delay in between time. But uh, as we sit here and wait, you'll be able to see uh, what's happening. And then once we get through some of these objectives, I will refresh the page. All right. So the bot says, great. Before we proceed, could you please give me your na full name for our records? Let's see here. <laughs> so I could just see like this being such a great use case for a lot of businesses. Uh, see here, I might have answered too fast. Oh, no, there we go. Um, thanks, Gabe. Could you also share your phone number with me? It'll help us keep in touch and provide updates. So we're getting the phone number now. But anyways, I was saying I could just see how this would be amazing for a lot of businesses. I mean, that you're completely eliminating an assistant or a receptionist to be able to get information like this. Um, you've seen me do dozens of demos with AI calling, be able to do this. But in today's world, we have to be able to capture both clients that want to do calling or text because texting is definitely the most popular. So it's saying, got it. Lastly, could you provide your email address? It'll you send to the Zoom consultation. Now we have it set up to collect all these details. Mm -hmm. um, if your leads are possibly have all these details already, then we can set the bots up to only ask these questions if it sees that it doesn't have the answers. So for what I'm saying is it doesn't have the answers is if it's messaging a contact and these fields are blank, then it'll ask if they aren't blank, then it can skip them. It's called skip objectives. So we can set it up that way too. In this particular case, I didn't have skip objectives set up because we wanted to just verify the uh, information. Sometimes people fill out false information on forms and because they're skeptical until they know if you're real or not. So it's good to confirm that information. All right. So perfect. Thanks for sharing that. Just to make sure, can we assist you properly? Could you let me know which state you're currently residing in? Say. And we're just going to keep working through these objectives. I'm actually going to go ahead and refresh the page just so you can see how it's checking off the goals accomplished. Uh, 
scroll down here. We've accomplished name, phone, email, and right now it's working on state. And now it's asking for county. Oops. There we go. I think there's a lot of uh, industries, you know, doctor's office collecting information, chiropractors, plumbers on the job that uh, people are calling in and wanting to book appointments. I mean, this is going to collect any information you want it to. Thanks for the info. It's asking if I'm represented by another attorney. Nope. Sometimes I just like to give short answers because a lot of times that's what you're going to get in real life. Could you tell me a bit more about your legal issue so we can determine that best area of law to assist you with? I'm going to say I'm going through divorce need help. I'll give it two messages there, see how it responds to that. One thing I like to do... Oh, let's see here. It says, I'm sorry to hear about your situation. Could you share a bit more about specific challenges you're experiencing you're facing your divorce? I'm just going to say, need help with all of it. I was going to say, I, I really like using the chat bot to uh, initiate trying to engage leads. And if we can't, then I'll do like a one day wait automation and follow up them with the AI phone call using Air AI, and that works pretty well. Uh, obviously, there's a small percentage of people, um, mostly the older population, that will not be wanting to do the texting like this. So that way we can capture both ways. Mm -hmm. And even with the AI calling, I can uh, ask all these same types of questions as well. All right, so it says, understand, it sounds like you could really use some comprehensive guidance. How about we set up a 20 minute phone appointment to discuss everything in detail with tomorrow at nine or 11.40 a.m. work for you or perhaps Friday morning. Uh, let's say, how about Friday morning? Oops, sorry. I always forget I have to actually type this in my text on my computer. How about Friday morning? What times do you have? One of the cool things about Closebot is if some of these messages it sends are too long and you think it looks too much like a bot is typing them out, because us as humans like to just do short little spurts of messages, that's natural. You can actually change this so you can say, hey, 60 or 70% uh, of the messages that are longer, break them up into two messages. It'll actually send two messages back to back, which is kind of cool. That's perfect with Friday at 9 a.m. work for you. Let's say 9 a.m. Oh, doing it again. 9 a.m. works perfect. All right. Now we're just about done. We actually scheduled an appointment. It's live. It sent an email out. And if we refresh the page, it says, great, we've got you scheduled. Refresh the page. I'll show you the objectives have been completed. Boom, all the objectives have been completed. This One thing that's really cool about this that you guys don't probably even understand that aren't used to automations, 
when each one of these things is checked off, it basically is saying the lead is hotter and hotter and hotter. And so we can actually do automations that say if we get the name, phone, and email, but nothing else, it's a cold lead. If they answer a few of these questions, it's a warm lead. And if it goes all the way booking, obviously that's a super hot lead. And then you can set up internal notifications. So while the bot, bot is chatting, you can have it send you an email or a text message letting you know what's happening. Even send, uh, right here we have the message history. You, I could send the whole message history to you by email. So you don't even have to come into the system and check it. Uh, here you can see we got uh, the answers to the questions, Missouri, Jackson, family law divorce, uh, representation, no. If they said they had representation, yes, then you could trigger a different automation. Maybe that makes it a colder lead or something like that. So this is just really, really cool. Stuff like this gets me fired up. I hope you guys enjoyed the little demo here. Um, if you need help with anything like this, I honestly don't know why everybody's not implementing this at some point in their business. It's super cost effective. It's not expensive. Feel free to reach out to me. Um, I always put my calendar link down below. Uh, you can schedule a call or a demo or uh, get an estimate to see what you need in your business to get this set up. Absolutely cool to be able to automate this part of the business. Just tedious and can really free up a lot of time. So have a good rest of your day, guys.